Title, When Parachutes and Protests Collide, Pitch Invader Coughs Up Cash for Climate Crusade Calamity. TLDR. In a high-flying stunt gone awry, a Greenpeace activist learns that landing uninvited in a stadium isn't quite the climate statement he hoped for. Our environmental daredevil faces fines amounting to €7,200 in further damage payments, after crash landing in a stadium before a big soccer match. In an attempt to kick oil out of the game, it seems like he ended up scoring an own goal. Is this the cost of activism or just a poor game plan? The full story. You know how they say, the sky's the limit. Well, for one daring Greenpeace activist, that saying led to quite a hard landing. Literally. During a European Championship match in Munich back in 2021, our airborne protester decided it was time to take his climate statement to new heights, pun fully intended. He stormed to the sky, flying into the Allianz Arena on a propeller-powered parachute, tossing a huge inflatable ball bearing the words kick out oil onto the pitch. Unfortunately, things didn't quite go according to plan. This wasn't exactly the kind of dropping ball that soccer fans are accustomed to. Instead of marveling at a spectacular goal or a tricky pass, spectators found themselves watching a rather unorthodox aerial display. Our audacious parachutist became entangled in a steel wire, resulting in a crash landing that injured not only himself but also two other people. Talk about a foul, play exclamation mark. In the aftermath of this chaotic climate protest, the activist now faces a hefty fine of €7,200 on charges of endangering air traffic and negligent bodily harm. He also has to cough up an additional €3,500 in damages to one of the injured parties. Meanwhile, another individual involved in organizing this daring display of environmental defiance has been ordered to pay a fine of €3,000. Greenpeace has expressed regret over the incident and our parachute-wielding activist has apologized for his actions during the trial. But one can't help but wonder, did this stunt actually achieve its goal or did it just add to the controversy surrounding environmental protests? While there's no denying the pressing need for conversations about climate change and the role of major industries in the crisis, this incident certainly adds another layer to the debate. It poses important questions about the methods used by activists to draw attention to their cause. So, readers, it's over to you. Was this just an unfortunate accident or a risky act of defiance that crossed the line? And as the dust settles on the pitch, and our parachute protester pays his fines, we're left to ponder, are there limits to the lengths we should go to for our causes, and if so, where should we draw the line?